What is up everyone? My name is Kettleson known as Wiltshire and welcome to today's video. Now in my previous video, I took your guys' suggestions from the comment section below and approved Dell Optiflex here. Now Dell Optiflex is a modified Dell Optiflex 3040 that I made. Now I documented that in a whole mini video series on how I modded this thing and where it is today. So if you guys want to have a look at how I did this or if you're intrigued with that video series, you can go ahead and click the playlist link in the description below of this video and go ahead and watch that series. But in the last video of that series, I saw one comment in the comment section below that really piqued my interest. And that came from a user by the name of Mushroom Pixel. And Mushroom Pixel suggested that I should get a black CPU cooler. And in the last video, I spray painted the inside of the PC case and put a, uh, a, PC, a PSU shroud in there that is flat black. So it would match the aesthetic of the computer build and I thought that was actually a really good idea. The only problem is, is there is not a black CPU cooler that is small enough to fit inside Optiflex here. It doesn't exist, it just straight up doesn't exist. I've only found two CPU coolers that managed to fit inside this thing, which is an Arctic Freezer Pro 7 and some random AliExpress 90 millimeter CPU cooler that I found. What I'm gonna do in today's video is we're going to friggin' spray paint the AliExpress one. The idea of today's video is essentially an experiment. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the AliExpress 90 millimeter cooler out of Optiflex here, and then we're going to spray paint it with some Duplicolor engine enamel spray paint. And the reason why I went with engine enamel is because it's heat resistant up to 260 degrees Celsius. So obviously the CPU cooler is gonna get quite roasty toasty because it's trying to dissipate the heat of the CPU. So we want some heat resistant paint. But the idea of the experiment is, will I see any performance degradation from the AliExpress cooler after we spray paint it? So I've taken a few uh, baseline test results. So I've ran IDA64 for about 15 minutes, and I've also taken the um, temperature readings of the CPU in idle. So we're going to compare those numbers with the numbers of after I spray paint the cooler. So let's get into disassembling Optiflex here, and then I'm going to spray paint it, and then we're going to compare the results after the heatsink is all nice and painted. Okay, so Ida64 has been running a stress test for 33 minutes now, and I've sat here for the entirety of this stress test. And one thing I could say is the turbo boost frequency has not budged on the 6700, which is fantastic to see. It's running at 3.7 gigahertz on all four cores, and it has not budged. So let's compare the temperature results to the non-painted heatsink to the painted heatsink. So for the non-painted heatsink, on the minimum category of real temp, we saw the hottest core get to 25 degrees Celsius. And if we compare that to real temp right now with the painted heatsink, the hottest core for the minimum category is 23 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna say that's within the margin of error there, and I'm gonna say that's unchanged. So if we compare the maximum category, the hottest core on the painted heatsink is 67 degrees Celsius right now, 
And the hottest core in the maximum category that I saw before painting it was 63 degrees Celsius. So I've only seen a four degree increase, which is actually a fantastic result. I was expecting like six to 10 degrees increase on the heat sink after painting it. But I guess the engine enamel paint actually came in clutch there instead of using a normal spray bomb from like Krylon or something like that, or the one that I used to paint the, uh, the, the chassis of the Dell Optiplex 3040. So to wrap up the experiment, can you paint your CPU cooler without seeing massive performance decrease? The answer is yes. Surprisingly, I was not expecting that. I was expecting to see an increase and a performance degradation, but I didn't layer the paint on very thick. I just did a dust coating twice and then one good coat and I didn't hit the fins of the CPU cooler very hard with the paint. I, again, I just did a dust coating on the, um, the fans of the heat sink. And then I did a pretty heavy coat on the top of the heat sink with the heat pipes here, just to give it a good aesthetic when you're looking at it through the window. So with that said, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's experiment. It actually was a very surprising experiment. Go ahead and paint your CPU cooler if you want. You might see a degree or two increase, but you know what, it's negligible. It's not gonna affect your performance of your CPU in any way, unless you're hitting TJ Maxx, of course, but if you're hitting, hitting TJ Maxx, you got other problems. So that's gonna wrap up the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and subscribe button if you did, if you wanna see more content like this from me in the future. My name's Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you later.